German arms manufacturer Walter, or properly pronouncing Walter, made an umbrella very similar to the original unbreakable umbrella. Now you see them side by side. First the Walter version and above it the original unbreakable umbrella. Pick up the Walter umbrella. Unfold it. Show us the inside. A bit lower. Yeah, let's flex it. Hold the umbrella. Yeah, flex it. Now fold it. And strike at will. Pick up the water umbrella. Unfold it. And now let us see inside. Flex it. The Walter umbrella has a shoulder strap attached to its cover. The original unbreakable umbrella doesn't have that because there were cases when police were called on somebody who carried an umbrella on their back either because somebody mistook it for a rifle or was using it as a pretext for having some fun at the expense of the poor sap who carried umbrella like that. And now a closer look at the handles. First the Walters umbrella and now the unbreakable umbrella. You will see that Walter has a arms manufacturer name on it, so that kind of blows the deniability that this is not carried as a self-defense weapon. The unbreakable umbrella has no markings, no manufacturer's name on it. Now to umbrella tips. The Walter umbrella's tip is covered with a thin rubber protector. If you pull it, the sharp tip will come out. Like so. You pull it this way and you see the whole thing. This sharp tip will destroy floors and deny you deniability. The unbreakable umbrella has a solid stainless steel ferrule with a dual finish. It's solid enough 
it will do the job of smashing things and poking things and piercing things. It's just, it has just enough rounding off to do it. And it comes with a set of reinforced rubber tips so you can use it as a walking stick without damaging floor and for better grip on the ground.